Hey guys, it's me, My Reborns, and I am back with another video. You are a Today is Wednesday, January 3rd, and it's currently 4.07 p.m. And I have baby Zaire here, and this is my first video I am making in the brand new year of 2024. And it's going to be my first upload of this year, and I'm so excited. I have the fan on. Last time you guys couldn't hear the fan, but I feel like you guys can hear it, so I'm just going to turn it off. I turned down the speed from 3 to 1 because at 3 it's really loud, and then at 1 it's like not so loud. And I thought that it helped, but it kind of didn't. Also, the TV is on. I turned it down from like 25 to like 8. But now, since I turned the fan off, you can really hear the TV. So, give me one second. Good thing is I don't have to actually like get up and walk. I just sat up and reached my long arm over there to grab the remote. But I went ahead and turned the TV off already. So, I have the year for today's video. And I have him because I did not get a chance to change him into his christmas outfit i didn't have one but i was going to find one i'm pretty sure i have something that he could have worn i just didn't look for it didn't have time too lazy so i want to change him into just a simple outfit something to chill and relax in as that's the kind of vibe i get for him he's just sleepy so no point of having him in like a fancy outfit and he's just super tired and i have the girls to the right of me i left Elena sitting over there by solana because i just felt bad because solana was just sitting there by herself so let me show you guys the girls i know this was really a zaire video but they just look so cute hey look at them look how cute they look i don't know what's i don't know what solana is looking at but you see she got a cute little unicorn she has glitter in her hands because my cousin gave her the glitter and I just saw that yesterday on my way to work. But, um, anyways, I haven't been able to do a lot of videos because I've just been so busy with work. I've worked since Friday, worked Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. No, I was off Friday. I worked Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and I'm off today and I'm back at work tomorrow. So I'm going to do this video and then I'm going to do another video. This video I was going to get into some things, but since it's my first video into the new year, I'm going to save it for my next video. <laughs> I just picked out this outfit randomly because I didn't feel like looking for anything. I need to stop doing that. I need to actually sit down and look for an outfit and stop just throwing outfits together. Because, I mean, I think they deserve that <laughs> so i don't really have a topic but i always notice people asking like oh why are you selling your baby is there something wrong with them do you not like them and things like that so i think for today's video i am just going to briefly tell you guys like why some people sell their babies and then um i guess that could be the topic so me personally i want to speak for myself and then i want to speak for other people me personally if you see a baby up for sale it is mainly because i am not bonding with the baby a lot of people get babies and they keep them forever if there is a bond if there isn't a bond me on the other hand i'm not going to do that i say if you don't bond with the baby or you don't want the baby anymore i'm still zoomed in there you go I say if you're not bonding with the baby or you just don't want the baby anymore, sell the baby. I mean, as long as you don't regret it, though. As long as you, like, 100% feel nothing towards the baby. Like, oh, yeah, the baby's still cute and things like that. But if you don't want the baby anymore, sell the baby. I just don't understand the point of keeping something you no longer want. Right? So sell the baby. So that's the main reason why I sell. Uh, a few other reasons why I sell is if I am expecting a new baby and I don't have the space for it, I will find a baby in my collection to sell. And sometimes it can be ones that I don't really want to sell. But usually if I don't have space for a baby and I have one coming and I can't bring myself to sell any babies, then I don't. But for this next one, like if I happen to 
really need the money and i don't i haven't so far i haven't really needed the money where i needed to sell my baby like right now asap i haven't had that luckily thank goodness because the two that i do have for sale now aren't selling so if there was an emergency like that i will have to dig into like my forever babies and i do not want to do that so like i said luckily i haven't had a situation like that where i absolutely had to sell because i need the money now sometimes i've been wanting to sell because you see this is getting off topic a little bit but he's like the only one that i kept like the, he's like the only one that i kept the actual white onesie on underneath i've been trying to i always used to keep a white onesie on underneath all of my babies but i haven't i have so many white onesies so i think i want to start that back up i just love the look of a white onesie underneath the baby's outfits now if it's a shirt so like for the older baby well the older babies i don't even put onesies on like solana you guys will literally never see her in a onesie but like eilina she's big enough to wear like a shirt i won't put like a onesie underneath unless it looks tacky and needs one so anyways i just thought i should say that where was i okay yeah i haven't got to the point where i needed the money and had to absolutely sell but sometimes i want like a new baby and either i won't have enough funds or i don't have or if i'm doing like a payment plan or something i want the baby home faster then i'll like look and see who i can sell i haven't had that happen either but but i know some people sell for that reason so let me get into the re more reasons on why some people sell so back to what i was just saying some people sell because they want to bring a new baby home quicker than what they're doing now like if it's a baby they really really want and they already bought it it's just on like a layaway and they're probably doing like just as this is just an example like a six month payment plan and they're like two three months in on the payment plan making their payments consistent consistently and then they're just like you know what i want this baby home now but i don't have all of the money right now but if i sell a baby i can have i can bring this baby home right now because i'll have enough money so i know a lot of people sell because they want to bring home a baby that they already bought and i know some people sell because they want to bring home a baby that they see so they're like oh emergency so i need to sell this baby asap so i can get a new baby so that's another reason why people sell uh i have some socks that i just saw somewhere over here there we go so many socks luckily these was at the top if not he was gonna have to either wear some girl socks or just some gray ones if i couldn't if i didn't find these ones but yeah another reason why people sell is because like i said an emergency comes and they just really need the money you know sometimes people say that a baby is a forever baby and sometimes they really are and sometimes they aren't but you guys see that baby up for some you guys are like wait what happened i thought it was a forever baby well they may have just needed the money you know so i i really tried i don't i don't comment on people's like I don't question not kind of i don't question on people when they're selling a baby because nine times out of ten they're selling because they have to and then the other time they're selling just because they just don't want the baby anymore so like i just feel like if you're that concerned that you can just go ahead and buy the baby so this would be great news for you right you would think so so i, I don't know why i see some people get genuinely upset that someone is selling a baby and i i just i don't know why I mean, it's their baby, it's their collection, it's their money, it's their space. So, I don't understand why people get upset when they see a baby being sold that they really liked. Because you could just buy that baby and you can have it and own it. That's how I always looked at it, but I don't know. But yeah, I actually encourage people to sell. <laughs> I am bad. I'm like, hey, you don't want the baby or you want to bring home a new baby? Sell the baby. Sell the baby you no longer want. <laughs> and then i love when people sell babies and it's the baby i want because look now i can get it <laughs> okay i always felt that 
this is off topic, but I always felt that my Levi is like a tad bit bigger than the rest because a lot of people say that their Levi's were creamy. If I put creamy on Zaire, no, it would be too tight. But I feel like he wears newborn size really, really good. And I can even fit some zero three months on him. But these pants are newborn and they're too small, as you can see. But we're going to make do. Like they're literally high waters. And I can see his ankles. And then like, he's like barely fitting this onesie. But yeah, so those are just some reasons why people are selling babies. And I just personally feel like no one should comment on them. Because it's their babies, their collection, and their money. So sometimes people don't even want to sell the babies, but they have to. They have to sell to get new babies, and they also just have to sell if they need the money so yeah and for those of you wondering why i am selling my babies that i'm selling uh not the ones that you guys saw in this video but i am selling two full body silicones and some of you guys' new year's resolution or new year goal need to be to stop wasting people's time because i always get asked or told that someone wants to buy my babies and then I hear nothing back from them. So just stop doing that. <laughs> if you don't have the money, please don't reach out. And that is me saying that in the nicest way possible. But I am selling my full body silicone baby boy for a few different reasons, actually. Number one, my first reason was I just I lost a bond with him and I don't know how. But I suspect it's because I opened up him at the same time as two, three other babies. I think it was five. It was five other babies, but really four. I opened him up at four other. I opened him up with four other babies, and I didn't realize that that could affect the bond until I done it because usually I don't get babies back to back. But I had. And I didn't get my babies back to back, but I had really no choice but to open them all up around the same time. And you guys already know why. So that is the main reason why I am selling him is because I just, I don't bond with him anymore. And then another main reason why I'm selling him is because when I got September, who was my full body silicone girl, she was just like over the moon over the top like i'm trying to say this in a way that makes sense like i don't want to compare them dang did i just shake the whole tripod <laughs> i don't want to compare them but like she's like up here and then like seven's like what the heck like right here i don't want to even do it like this because that's like really rude but like she's here and then like seven's right here like he's just under her and that is because she's super soft flexible she could turn her head and he can't he can turn his head slightly but not like her he's soft but not like her he's flexible jiggly but not like her so when i got her my expectations for silicones have jumped up now versus when i had my other two silicones they were all the same level of softness and firmness and things like that so I didn't have the chance or opportunity to compare them because they were the same. So I loved him. I loved him for that. You know, he wasn't softer than my other silicones. And he didn't have like any extra additional features than my other silicones. So there was nothing for me to compare him with and find out that I liked better and want more and want better, if that makes sense. But then when I got her, I'm like, oh, this is the elite silicone. And this is actually what I want and what I'm looking for. You know? So now that I got her, I know what I want in a silicone. And seven, unfortunately, just isn't that. So before I even, I don't know, I was still bonding with him. This is the thing, though. I was still bonding with him when I had got her. I got him first, and then I got her shortly after. But I was still bonding with him. But 
along the way i just lost a bond and those are just a few reasons why so there's nothing wrong with him at all by any means he does have obviously flaws and boo-boos he's not perfect but there's nothing like i don't like about him because i do you know i love his hair i love his skin tone he's an adorable baby he's an affordable baby that was the main thing he was an affordable baby even him even with him being being a private order he was still affordable and that's not much that you can say now for a lot of these babies especially silicone so there's nothing wrong with him i'm actually going to do my next video with him so you guys can go ahead and check that out well it won't be out but it'll be out shortly after this video Thank you.